I am starting this video with my face not done. I'm getting ready for the day-ish type. I'm actually going to probably pick out my wedding dress this afternoon. I went with my girlfriends last weekend and tried a couple on and I was narrowed down to two. So I'm going today with my mom and grandma and officially saying yes to the dress. So, <laughs> keep saying I'm not gonna say though. Um, so, just said so. I'm on here getting ready for that and I figured I don't wanna film an intro later so I'm filming it now. Brows are on, eyes are primed. I recently placed an order with ColourPop uh, after Kathleen Lights did her video with the 20% off and I picked up three three shades she talks about which was which were wake up call made to last and glass bowl and that's what I'm planning on going in with my eyes they are um so wake up call made to last glass bowl beautiful more gonna be on the neutral-ish side but I don't know we'll see what we create so I'm taking the Morphe MB23 and wake up call first as I'm which taking makeup call first and that's what I'm going to use as my transition shade. Then I'm going to take the Morphe M513 and go in with me to last it's a little bit darker. I'm going to be taking that into the crease and the outer edge. Makeup dress shopping was a little weird, I will say that. Everyone told me when you try on dresses, you'll just know, you'll feel like a bride, you'll cry, you'll know which one is the one. And I will say, it was a very overwhelming process for me. I knew which store I wanted to go to. It was a boutique that I had seen dresses at before. I'm not a big dress person uh just background in the story but i kept thinking there were two dresses that i had seen on this place's instagram that i was interested in and everyone told me like when you go try those on but try it on everything else because no one actually gets the dresses they think they're gonna like so you know i tried on a bunch of stuff and Nothing was wowing me except the two dresses that I took a photo of and actually originally liked, which is hysterical. People are like, of course, that's you. And they were like the same style. So I'm taking the Marfie R37 and going in with that color and deepening it up a little bit. And then it came down to it was those two dresses that I really liked. And I just didn't, I don't know, people were like, my bridesmaids were there and they're like, does one make you feel more of a bride? And I was like, no, I don't, they like them both. They like them both for different reasons. This is a big decision. I don't know what to do. I became very indecisive. So it kind of left saying, knowing that I need to order soon because my wedding's in eight months, which is crazy to think about. So all week long, uh, hold on. I'm going to go in with Morphe MB23 and just blend that out. All week long, I was really indecisive. I kept going back and forth between the two dresses and I wasn't sure. And they're, they're just a lot of money, what, m money. and I didn't feel 100% confident until last night. I hadn't looked at the dresses all week, and I finally, you know, re-looked at the photos, and I was leaning towards one before, and last night officially it was like that, you know, that's the dress I want. I had made an appointment earlier this week because I knew I needed to make a decision, so yeah. That is my long-winded story just to tell you. Uh, I know everyone says you, you might know or, you know, the dress, and sometimes you don't. <laughs> and I would be okay with that, too. Sometimes I think we hype up weddings and these decisions, and I just kept thinking at the end of the day, I was, what does it matter what I wear dress-wise <laughs> as long as Tom's there? That's all that kind of matters to me, and I can't really pick the wrong dress because he's going to think, I look good in anything and that's all that matters so just like I don't know wisdom wisdom advice word of advice to maybe people who didn't have that feeling it's okay I didn't either but I, I love the dress I'm going to pick but I just 
feel like society in my mind meant like this was supposed to be the dress that I was ready to sell my children for and well maybe not that <laughs> intense but sometimes that's not how it happens but you just like I don't know, I've been falling in love with it oh my collar's been popped the whole time I've been falling in love with it more so I don't know that's just that too sometimes it's not it just doesn't matter, I guess, was my thing. But I am still excited. Also, I feel like that sounded so bad. All right, then I'm taking the Morphe M170-8. I'm obsessed with this brush. This brush has changed my shimmer shadow game. Just saying. We'll go in more depth some other time. Because I don't have time right now. I'm taking some MAC Fix Plus, And I'm going to go into that glass bowl shade, which is a duochrome beauty. I really wish I had time to cut the crease more because this shadow is beautiful, but I feel like if it had the cut crease background, it would really pop out. So I'm taking the Morphe M513, which if you noticed earlier, I kind of abandoned when I was talking. This is much better for to deepen the crease, the outer V, I mean, than to bring into the crease. I'm taking some of that made to last. I'm getting a lot of fallout, but I'm just going to take the Morphe MB23 if I didn't say that already. I just clean up everything with this. Nothing too crazy. So my camera died. What else is new? I'm taking my very last makeup point. I'm just going to clean up that fallout we have and move on to the rest of the face. For primer, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizing Smoothing Primer. I'm going to take my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal just to give my skin some radiance. I've been mixing this in with my foundation, but today I'm going to put it over top of my primer. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible with my Spongile. This is in shade 103, which we are hoping works. If you can tell, I kind of need to get going. I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer Light Neutral Brow. You've seen me, you've just seen others do, so we're going to hit that fast forward button. For my under eyes, and then I'm taking the ABH foundation stick in Fawn because I feel like being insane right now and I'm My Morphe M530 in the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer that I usually use to contour with, and just going to cut that a little bit. Then we're going to take some Too Faced Chocolate Soule Real Techniques Blush Brush in Bronze a little bit. If you think going in with three different bronzer and contour shades is excessive. You're not wrong. For my under eye, I'm taking the Morphe E18. I'm gonna go in with that first shade we used. Wake up call. Then I'm gonna take my Essence Lash Effects Volumizing Mascara. As I just realized I was on so much more of a time crunch than I thought I was. Took Shimmer Shimmer. Brow bone, inner corner, mascara. For blush, I'm gonna take the Morphe 9N more than anything because it's out. I said I wasn't gonna use this. And mixing these two, because that seems to be my go-to recently. Highlight, we're going for the good old Essence Pure Nude. Again. Mm -hmm. 
different things. Morphe, setting spray, go. Lips, ColourPop, Aquarius, lippy stick. <laughs> Wipe off some of your foundations and fill a lot. Okay, that completes this incredibly crazy good fast. <laughs> so that completes this. I guess it turned out to be like a little mauve dustier tones. I don't know how I feel about the eye in all honesty, but people, we gotta go. We gotta make moves, pick up Graham. Keep it going. I hope you enjoyed. I know this ended up getting a little, but glass bowl, we're gonna give it another fair shot. I should probably give everything another fair shot, but. All right, I really gotta go. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, link, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. And I will see you in the next one.